Me Measure is a collection of poems uh, using Rene Girard's uh, theory of mem uh, mimetic desire, mimetic rivalry, and scapegoat um, as a way to see whether uh, that theory still holds true in contemporary uh, global culture of capitalism. Confetti Catcher. Always the same sight with similar pomp and circumstances, and organ shifts beneath flutes and violins that blanket a dark band tweaking noise into nose. Corny eggs crack in socket bowls when stirring, and a gathering quakes on the bed refrain. When the sight ceremony lights up, all dreams exit through thin air. A whole world opens for the real, while boredom fills with illusion for strangers on the street, perhaps. The senses chase after stomach butterflies with a cup for coffee and a spoon. The excitement wishes as the moment escapes, but the effort fills up and spills all over the nervous system. Soon a traffic jam will spread on concentration without absorbing a small part in the procession. Also, coincidentally, the, for me, it, the content and the form have kind of uh, fit one another because mimetic desire um, is something where you copy other people uh, to fit in. And I, for the last probably 15 years, I've been stepping away from <clears throat> uh, my way of writing to a new kind of a writing for me. The idea of mimetic desire, um, I'm out there on, with these poems on my own. Maybe Magnate, with dopamine sitting at the right hand wearing a daffy grin, maybe rules for planet homo sapiens and the soma system. The inhabitants, limbs, trunk, cranium, worship at the local concerns and arrive at chance happenings. In time, Rituals, prayers, and routine fasting can draw out certainty one way or another. Sometimes silence and stillness luck out, and God carries on shoulders for half a mile. The Ferris wheel peak plummets quickly. Under the wacky smile, the desire for anticipation calls in tongues from toe tips. Whole worlds rush around to discern which superstition works best given the footprints and the foot positions on the ground until copycats study behind an OCD patient mime. Each congregant seduces with a unique twist and perhaps peeps through a thunderhead throwing lightning this way and that. These poems are considered lines of flight, ways of um, finding another way of doing things, another way of thinking, another way of, of, of um, possibly even living. Altered states continued. In the gaslit nation, citizens trip over facts day or night, bruising measurements and crippling judgment. Sometimes a laceration from the previous year bleeds onto new friends, or a broken vision from the past meat grinds the future horizon into a bowl for sausage-making intestines. The truth lamps wink and twinkle at the naive and for the too busy to think. Whole groups flash mob with baseball bats to beat pulp from neighbors. Nursing homes spoon feed mush. Hypno reality run amok illuminates through senses 
while amputees feel around for phantom trunks, while the facial recognition fund ignites for algorithms and police roundups. Violence flails to ID a scapegoat. I'm measuring the, uh, whether the mimesis uh, and mimetic desire uh, is still true today, according to Girard. It was true throughout the Bible and throughout all cultures. Uh, in fact, he, which is a very interesting uh, concept that makes that really drove me was he says there is no culture without scapegoat. 